Hello guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm Corrado Koch, music producer and certified beatbeat trainer. And today we're gonna see the last part of this mini series about expressive sounds in beatbeat 4.1. I'm gonna talk about the melody part and I combine the melody part with the texture parts we've seen before in the previous videos. And uh, yeah, let's get it started. So I mm, better organized um, workflow in this patch and uh, I remind you we have a, a sequencer part here on the left and this sequencer section gets the time from the transport on the left. The pitch module gives notes which will be played by the three VCOs, uh, but each VCO has some different modulations which tend to transport the primary pitch information into new values which will be already quantized in terms of frequency. The gate module gives us the starting point to open all our envelopes, but this information is combined with other values that come from the step module with the aim of having legato notes. In fact, both of this information go through an OR module. By doing this, when this module receives one on both the inlet, it plays legato notes, and when get one only on one inlet, it plays single staccato notes. Finally, in this section, we have the velocity part. A simple step is used in order to have different velocity values for each step of our sequence. Eventually, this value is combined with the other values that come from the LFO below, which makes a unipolar wave so as to have some vibrato effect of the amplitude. This is the sequencer part, and uh, we, of course, we have a pitch section. Uh, I've explained it um, in the previous uh, videos, uh, but just to summarize, um, yeah, those pitch quantize, um, quantize and uh, yeah, uh, combine and quantize the pitch that comes from um, my pitch module here. And um, we have some velocity multiplier for filter for Roussier. And in the last video, um, so I, I did those interrupter, actually those switcher, uh, and I use those switcher um, to to control uh, velocity or um, the opening of my uh, envelope, uh, choosing notes from my sequencer or uh, from incoming notes from my keyboard. But uh, today we're gonna see how to make a melody part. So um, for this reason, I'll open uh, a second polygrid here in this instrument layer. And uh, yeah, let's put in solo now and let's um, change this into ADSR envelope. Uh, let's get a sine wave. Let's duplicate and I'm gonna grab uh, a mixer. So, um, yeah, maybe minus 20 dB is a good starting point. And um, maybe we can put um, a view meter uh, at the end, uh, and of course, I, I can increase a little bit volume uh, at the end, uh, carefully and watching um, my view meter. Um, yeah, I think um, so. It's a good thing to uh, to get to duplicate this into this new uh, patch. 
and I'll show you in a moment. So the first thing I can uh, connect my pitch and of course I can connect this into uh, ADSR inlet. Okay, let's change a little bit our pitch information. Something like this, for example. Okay. Well, let's bring reverb and I put a distortion um, here for uh, power sound. Okay, and yeah, now. Um, so what I would like to do is um, combining uh, incoming notes from my keyboard with uh, notes uh, from uh, this pitch module. So um, what can I do? Uh, for example, uh, I can uh, so I can put this pitch in module. And um, I can sum uh, this that comes from uh, my keyboard with uh, this that comes from this pitch module. So, um, I'm gonna do the same for this other oscillator and now we can switch off this interrupter and we get this pitch information okay and now um, if I play uh, from my keyboard I have a um, combination uh, of frequency of notes. Um, let's go with 18 notes here. Um, okay, for example, let's put a dribble here. And uh, yeah, in order to have um, some retrigger notes under gravity. So, uh, um, in case we have different pitch, uh, we can use a randomize, uh, for example, and we can get some different pitch information for our trigger that comes from our, our treble. Okay, and yeah, mm, now, um, I'll quantize this information because so we are making the melody part uh, with the uh, with texture part I've explained before, and the texture part is uh, within the C major scale. So we have this same scale here, C major scale. course I'll quantize I can quantize those notes with quantize maybe and I put a delay here maybe with blend we can combine dry and wet signal Okay. 
Uh, of course, we, we can generate a different, different ratio, different notes from the same pitch module. For example, uh, by doing this, I can, can make different colors because I've made different ratio from those two. So uh, I put this uh, an octave below, maybe. One thing uh, I love most is um, change the delay time here. Maybe I can do this with um, dice, for example. Um, I'll connect uh, these triggers into these dice and with the modulator out. I change delay time for example every four or eight triggers okay um, so also in this case um, I want to uh, combine um, I want to make legato notes so for this reason I combine both this information okay. but in this case um, I, I want to connect um, also the information triggers information that comes from my incoming notes from my keyboard and for this reason um, I'm gonna make um, a sum here um, and uh, I'll get this trigger information and yeah so now we have a combination of triggers by uh, this module this and incoming nodes make stereo our signal and some vibrato effect maybe we can control this with a uh, pressure So you can quantize or not here if you want something more irregular. So now uh, I'll show you my keyboard. Okay, and now um, let's combine this melody part uh, with texture part. So here we have um, we can activate note on 
and we can get our node from keyboard at the same time for this um, texture part like our melody part for example Yeah, of course we can activate um, polyphonic kicks instance of this polygrid and we can use a multi-node like um, we've seen in the previous video. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video again and I remind you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.